Who's ready for the next system test with the Firelight and the Wheel Lock Voice Evacuation Fire Alarm Demonstration Board? There's quite a few changes to the system, so I'll go over some of those changes and then we'll test out the system. You may have already noticed that the lights on these devices are pulling a lot faster. I've had several requests for quite a long time now to change the panel protocol to what's called light speed. Light speed is a setting that is commonly used on newer fire alarm installations that have a lot of devices and it is more efficient at looking for every device on the system. The Firelight MS9200 UDLS Addressable Fire Alarm Control Panel does have a couple of troubles on it. If we look at the screen here, you can see that one of them is 0.6, and that's a pull station, and the other is 0.8, which is a pull station. And both of those troubles have to do with the Firelight BG10 LXs. Both of these parts are so old that they do not recognize the light speed protocol. So even though it is wired up right now, I can pull it and it will literally do nothing at all. When I do change the protocol back in the next system test to clip, which is the older protocol that I normally use, these pull stations will work again. There are some changes with the BG12 LXs, but they are technically all the same. I just swapped out the cover on a couple of them. So this one right here, as you can see, is a Gamewell FCI cover, and it is the single action pull down version. There is no push in on it. The one in the middle is the same, and then the one on the far left is the Spanish slash English lettering version. And you can't see the light blinking on the inside because there's a black sticker here, but the light is there and it is blinking. For notification appliances, there is a Wheelock AS horn strobe, there is a Wheelock LST amber LED strobe only, and then there is a Wheelock E50-24 MCW speaker strobe. For the conventional pull station, I did install a Notifier BNG-1TS, and then there is one change with the RMS-1T. There is a blue lift and pull dual action cover. The difference in colors with the yellow and blue is not really something that you would see used together in a real building, but hey, why not? It's a cool demonstration board. And then this piece is programmed in to activate the amber strobe. That's all the changes. Enough talk. Let's pull something. Don't do this unless there's an emergency. Here we go. That is Firelight's older voice evacuation message. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the fire alarm pull station. There it is. I did say in the last test that in this test I would test out the Botch F220-P, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna magnet test it, and you take a magnet and hold it right about here. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. 
Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. Go ahead and acknowledge the trouble. I'm thinking we will test out the BG12 Alexas more in the next test. For now, we have this pull station. And I have kind of a cool tone that is from a TV show programmed into this pull station. So let's go ahead and pull it and see what it is. Here we go. That's kind of a cool sound, isn't it? Panel is reset. Troubles are acknowledged. I think that's going to do it for this system test. If you found any of this cool, definitely go check out some of the other videos that I have on this channel. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, everyone.